Goodbye, Emberton. I have some things to take care of, but I'll be back soon. Renowned archaeologist Dr. Scrimone reported an extraordinary situation at the Tall Pines excavation site near Greenbush, and he needs my help. We heard about your involvement in the so-called Greenbush incident, so the university leadership advised us to reach out to you. My assistant will explain the details when you meet. I made it to the location. The excavation site should be somewhere around here. Miss Cassidy, hello. I'm Amanda, Professor Scramone's assistant. He informed me of your arrival. I'm glad to see you made it here. We called you because of several unfortunate incidents at the evacuation site. Workers claim something paranormal is happening here and say it's all because of a cursed statue. Personally, I think it's sabotage by locals who don't like what we're doing here. I need to step away for a moment. While I'm gone, feel free to examine the statue to rule out the curse theory.
Hello, I'm Calum, the crane operator. I should warn you, strange things have been happening here since the excavation began. Equipment keeps breaking, there's been lots of heavy rain with thunder and lightning, and a mysterious voice keeps mumbling something over the radio. The locals are superstitious and refuse to work, but I think they're lazy and are just making excuses not to work. So I'll help you lift the statue. Unfortunately, I've misplaced my glasses and can barely see anything without them. Can you help me find them? Thanks. I keep losing these glasses, but they really help me see better and do my job. So, first we need to stabilize the statue so that it doesn't get damaged when the crane lifts it. You need to attach the ropes to the statue. Here, take this carbine. You'll need it. Oh my! Are those animals radiating some sort of magical glow from the statue? Could this be the curse that the locals fear? I don't understand what's happening here, but I guess the legends are true. My uncle's an explorer. He's extensively studied the local legends and the history of the area's shamans. Let's pay him a visit, so you can ask him about what's happening. Maybe he knows more about the statue and where these enchanted animals came from. Hey, buddy. I can't believe how much you've grown. Is my uncle taking good care of you? Wait a second. Ugh. Help me! Drive this dog away. It's dangerous. Thanks for helping me with the dog. My Uncle Mark lives in this mobile home. He's an explorer and local culture expert. I've got to admit, Uncle Mark is a bit of a weirdo. He thinks he's constantly being watched and never opens his door unless someone gives him a special bell signal. That includes me. Let's look for the missing bell. You check the yard and I'll look behind the house.
Hello, I'm Mark. What? You're Caleb's friend. Well, I suppose so, but I can't come out. The door's locked and I lost the key. What do you want, anyway? Oh, heavens! Yes, I'm familiar with this curse. According to legends, the spirit of the Creature Master resided in the statue. I'll tell you more when you open the door. There's a spare key somewhere in the greenhouse. Look for it in one of the garden gnomes. Here, take this light bulb. There's a voltage jump in the greenhouse. Darn! A snake bit me! Mark! Mark, are you alright? He needs help, quick! Did you find the key to the trailer? Nice! What? A snake bit Mark? We need to help him! Oh, how could this happen? A poisonous snake bit Uncle Mark? We'll need to use its venom to make an antidote. For now, look for the antidote recipe, and I'll try to catch it. It seems to have slithered outside. I need to make an antidote for Mark.
Hey, I found our snake. Quick, come here and help me. Now, that we caught the snake, we can use its venom to make an antidote. Great! We managed to get the snake venom. Now you have everything you need to prepare the antidote. Thank you for saving me. Now I can tell you about the Creature Master. The shamans created a unique magical scepter to imprison the Creature Master, but he managed to break free. So the shamans began searching for a way to enhance the scepter with additional relics. Some of these relics were precious sapphires that increased the scepter's power a hundredfold. Here, take the sapphire. I accidentally broke it during one of my experiments. Just insert it into the scepter and I'm sure it'll work. My legs are still feeling a bit weak from the venom. Just give me a minute to recover. You did it! 
but we need to find other relics to enhance the scepter and put the creature master back into his prison. Otherwise, he'll become stronger, and we won't be able to defeat him. I suppose we can find the next scepter relics in the abandoned shaman temple. I'll go tell Kalem to warm up the car. We need to hurry! Kalem, I'm glad to see you. So, we need to find the relics to defeat the Creature Master. Hey, Uncle Mark. So, you're saying we need to go to the temple? I'll drive you there. There should be relics to enhance the scepter in the abandoned Shaman Temple, but we'll have to look for them carefully. We're almost there. The temple should be around here somewhere. Caleb, be careful! Hold on! No! Caleb was hurt in the accident! Help me! This is terrible! Caleb's badly injured! And I'm sure the Creature Master is behind it. He's enslaved yet another innocent animal. We must stop him! Hurry, take the keys and bring me a first aid kit for Caleb as fast as you can. Caleb's stable, but we'd better call an ambulance so a professional can check him. We're too far from town and there's no signal here. So let's do this. I'll go get help for Caleb, and in the meantime, you can try to find the scepter relics here. As far as I know, there are three crystal skulls hidden around the temple. They empower the scepter like the sapphire. Here, take this. It's a clue that should help you. I'm heading out to find help. Don't worry, Caleb. Mark's bringing help soon. Don't worry, Caleb.
Don't worry, Kalem. Great! You found the crystal skulls! And a strange scroll? Can I see this mysterious manuscript? Interesting. It appears the scroll was written when people and shamans lived in harmony. It tells the story of how the mayor allied with the creature master to rob the shamans. He found the relics but deceived the creature master and hid them in a secret chamber in the town hall. Oh, the ambulance is here. Caleb and I are heading to the hospital. We'll drop you off at the old town hall on the way. You can find the remaining relics for the scepter there. We're here. That's the old town hall where the relics you need are hidden. I'm sorry I won't be able to go with you, but I need to go to the hospital with my nephew. I'll join you as soon as I know Calum is stable and out of danger. Mark said the mayor's stash with the relics is hidden around here somewhere. Where should I start looking?
The mayor made sure the scepter relics couldn't be found so easily. Oh! Another innocent victim of the Creature Master. I think I could drive it away with the sound of the bell. I just need to figure out how.
To imprison the Creature Master again, I need to collect all the scepter components, find the old statue parts, and perform a ritual in the Sacred Grove. Enchanted Lynx again. Don't worry, I'll scare off the Lynx. Mark, is that you? <sighs> Thank you. You made it just in time. I noticed the enchanted animals were afraid of loud noises, so I grabbed one of my devices on the way here. It's a sound emitter. I'm glad it worked. What have you found out? The mayor became the scepter's keeper, and the shamans tasked him with guarding the creature master's prison? Wow! And you found out how once the scepter is enhanced by all the relics, it can imprison the creature master for good? Show me what you found there. I know where that place is. You need to go down the river to the Sacred Grove. You can't miss it. The book mentioned that to imprison the Creature Master, we need a part of an old statue. I'll bring it from the excavation site, and you head to the grove. According to the instructions, we need to place the old statue parts in the sacred grove where the creature master was imprisoned. I'll bring the statue parts. In the meantime, you find the spot to place the scepter. I'll prepare everything. I'll prepare e The Creature Master! He's here! 
We need to imprison him quickly. Hold the scepter tightly. My God, this is incredible! You managed to defeat the Creature Master! It wasn't easy, but you were brave and took care of it. Don't worry about the scepter anymore. I'll hide it somewhere safe. The important thing is that the animals of Greenbush are safe now, and Dr. Scrimone can continue the excavations. Thankfully, I was able to stop the Creature Master, and now Greenbush is safe. And after the Creature Master was imprisoned, all the animals were healed. Thank you, Miss Cassidy, for your invaluable contribution to our work. You've been a great help. Thanks, Lisa. I'm feeling a lot better already. Now we can continue the excavations, and the curse won't stand in our way.